had a nightmare. I imagined a world where everything was drowned in petroleum-based plastic. The grounds were littered with it. Plastics that were no longer useful were in muddy, pungent piles. The oceans became a plastic soup. Every animal was stuck to a plastic diet because they could not distinguish plastic from food, and they painfully starved to death. I saw that there were every human that had deadly plastics inside their stomachs. The food and water they consumed contained tiny pieces of plastic, and they became sick with cancer, lead poisoning, and more. Then I realized it wasn't a nightmare after all, but our future. We already have a lot of plastic waste, and yet we still produce more of it. According to the United Nations, we have created over 8.3 billion metric tons of plastic as of 2017, and that number is growing rapidly. Think about it. 8.3 billion metric tons of plastic is as heavy as 1 billion elephants, or 80 million blue whales, or 822,000 Eiffel Towers. Currently, around 9% of all plastic is only being recycled, and 12% of all plastic is being burnt into harmful greenhouse gases like methane, which is around 84 times more toxic than carbon dioxide. The remaining 79% goes into landfills where they remain there for centuries, or even forever. You may think this matters is insignificant. It's just plastic, and the waste doesn't really matter. You could just throw away plastic when it's no longer useful to you, and it's now none of your concern. But if we continue with that mindset, then the world where our planet becomes plastic will be the consequence of our lack of action to deal with it. We need a sustainable solution to our plastic waste and an alternative to plastics. But I want you to reimagine a plastic. It's still plastic, but there's a difference. It's not made of non-renewable fossil fuels, but of renewable materials like plants, seaweed, bacteria, or even food waste. It is biodegradable, which means that it doesn't take centuries or forever to break down. That sounds like an alternative to plastics that we need. But what if I told you that alternative exists? Well, that alternative is bioplastics. Now you may be wondering, what are bioplastics? You may have heard of them, but you also may not know what they are. Besides being biodegradable and made out of renewable materials, they can break down on their own or with something to help them, like dissolving it in water or exposing it to sunlight. They can be modified for a variety of needs and applications, like adding vinegar to increase the flexibility of cornstarch bioplastic. Thus, you can find a bioplastic for every type of plastic. With them, there will be no need to use fossil fuels that damage the environment to create plastics. Not only that, but they can also reduce the carbon dioxide emissions in our atmosphere. Like how University of Bath researchers have created a bioplastic that is made of sugar and carbon dioxide. Therefore, bioplastics have the potential to reduce carbon dioxide emissions caused by crane plastics by at least 30%. This may sound not too big, but in the long run, it could create several significant positive impacts. But you do have to be careful about which type of bioplastic you choose to use. 
just like there are many different types of plastics, there are also many different types of bioplastics. Some may be more sustainable than others. You can have a biodegradable plastic that is made out of petroleum. Likewise, you can have a bioplastic that is made out of sustainable materials, but it is not biodegradable. Also, the term biodegradable doesn't specify how long it takes to break down. A bioplastic that is biodegradable could take years or even decades. Sometimes there may be a lack of resources and we will have to use more land to create more resources for bioplastics, which can cause competition in land and agriculture. Consumers like you and me will also need to treat bioplastics properly if we were to implement it into our lives. Just because it can biodegrade, it doesn't mean that it can instantly disappear when you toss it away on the sidewalk. Bioplastics require industrial composters usually, and if the bioplastic doesn't meet their standards, it gets thrown away into the landfill. Despite its benefits, bioplastics aren't magic materials because we can't immediately implement them into our lives. We still need more money and research in order for bioplastics to be implemented on a bigger scale. Although they can be a solution to our petroleum-based plastics, they are not the solution to our existing plastic waste, the ignorance of consuming plastic, and the overpackaging in our consumer markets. But why can't we reuse and recycle more? Why can't we but just bland plastics? Unfortunately, plastic pollution is more complicated than that. Plastic helps solve problems that we can't completely solve yet. Like how one third of all food that's being produced is never eaten and it gets thrown away into the landfill to produce methane gases. Currently, the best way to preserve the food is to use plastic. Also, some of the alternatives used for plastic can have a higher negative impact on the environment than plastic. According to 2018 study conducted by the Danish government, making a single use plastic bag is so easy, it can have a lower carbon dioxide emission than a reusable cotton bag. You will need to use your cotton bag 7,100 times before it will have a lower environmental impact than the plastic bag. So all materials have an impact on the environment, but bioplastics can become a sustainable and reliable material. If we just make sure it has a low impact on the environment. We could use materials that require less resources and energy to make such as bacteria and food waste and cell corn. We can also make sure that the bioplastic is compostable, which, unlike biodegradable, means that the bioplastic can immediately break down in a few days or weeks into organic matter. So are bioplastics a sustainable solution? Yes and no. Bioplastics alone can't solve our plastic problem. We need better infrastructure and policies to deal with the production, consumption, and disposal of plastic waste. We need plastic campaigns to fight plastic pollution. We need bioplastics to become cheaper, more accessible, and sustainable to be implemented into our lives. We need community cleanups to clean the plastic waste in our communities. We need to pressure businesses and politicians to take action towards reducing the amount of plastic waste and implementing bioplastics in our lives. We need to become mindful consumers to minimize the amount of plastic waste. The facts and solutions are already out there. All we need is action because we need to stop being bystanders and start becoming participants to work towards a plastic-free earth.
So what can you do to help? Well, first of all, you can watch how much plastic you are throwing away and avoid as much plastic as possible. You can do this by researching online or reading books on how to reduce your waste output. And you can get your family and friends to do the same. You could join a community cleanup to clean the plastic waste in your community. You can also sign letters and write petitions to work towards pressuring businesses and politicians to make them take action toward plastic waste and to voice your concerns. There are so many ways that you can help and every single action counts because you can help accelerate change to become less dependent on plastic, to replace plastic with bioplastics and to work towards a current plastic pollution. My final words for you are that bioplastics are a great material with a lot of potential, but we still aren't quite ready for bioplastics. They need to be cheaper, more accessible, and sustainable in order for them to be ready. On top of that, you can become an aware consumer on how much waste you are throwing away and to minimize how much waste you produce. Now I want you to imagine a world where we use bioplastics instead of plastics. All of the existing waste in our communities, lands, and oceans has been cleaned up. Everyone is acting locally, but thinking globally about how they can work towards a sustainable earth. That can come true because we can start taking action today and eventually we can wake up from our current nightmare and work towards an environment that we have always been dreaming of for ourselves and for future generations. Thank you.